previously on Chess School. We're here to talk about desserts, uh, your intermezzo, and bread service. We decided to do a aged sourdough. Uh, next we have an apple pie crepe. And the last one that we have an idea for is a blood orange sorbet. I like the sourdough. I don't know <coughs> if we want to mask that sour with cheese. Across the board with the desserts, what I see is we're lacking refinement. Uh, that was, it was tough. They weren't done. The dishes weren't done. But now how are we going to take those flavors and, and, and bring them up? So during the testing phase, uh, the students, uh, they've, they've gone through already the brainstorming process together, they've received their feedback from uh, us, they've gone back, they've reworked their ideas. During the taste testing process, um, they are A, testing the recipes, uh, and then B, um, we're, we're tasting the dishes to see how the individual elements uh, each perform, and then most importantly, how they married together on the plate. So does it work as a cohesive dish? Uh, not really nervous for the testing phase because we get to go through the days and get advice from the chefs and just uh, that's what they're for is like practice. Obviously every time you make something it's obviously going to taste different. Uh, we do run off by recipes but you never know something could be off about something and then making that mistake and not knowing what it could be. My dish right now is the breads. We have two of them. One is an aged sourdough. You know? yeah. um, do you think I should start on the honey mustard butter or the pretzel? Okay. Bread flour, pastry flour, water, yeast, uh, salt, sugar. Pretzels, we, well, I took a little bit of inspiration by our year two from last year. So and I wanted to kind of take what they made and kind of make it, how you say, better. We scrapped the whole cake pop idea that we had originally came in with, or come in with. Um, so we're going with uh, crepe that's stuffed with apple pie filling and then churro and then caramel sauce on the bottom and a scoop of ice cream on the side. I am focusing on the crepe uh, proportion of this. Um, I'm working with the apple pie filling, um, as well as Regina helping me with that. The crepe is just your basic uh, crepe um, batter. The apple pie filling is just your apples baked off with uh, cinnamon and uh, coconut oil. And we added plain sugar to it as well. The one I'm focusing on is the palate cleanser for the desserts team. So it's a blood orange sorbet with a candied orange wheel and a candied orange garnish. test phase I think it's more getting the times down pat just to make sure that we have everything
so far we haven't had a whole lot of drama. There has been just a, a slight bit between two of them. Um, some people were too busy, um, too worried about their dishes and they weren't helping with our dishes and plating wise. Some were doing their thing but not helping us. What I know, <laughs> no one else will. So it's like, it's either my way or the highway. Once they put it all together, they taste it, we taste it, we give them feedback, the class gives feedback, they go back to the drawing board, rework whatever they need to, to, to um, polish or, or work on, uh, and then try again. So, Regina, talk to me here. So we've got our vegan crepe. Yep. And our... And it's supposed to be the maple walnut ice yep. cream. But and in the interest of time today, we've doctored that a little bit yes. to make ice cream, and that's yep. great. Yep. Uh, and then this one is our... That's the churro bowl with the apple pie filling in the middle as well. We just wanted to try the two of them and see which one works out better. Great. And then we have our... Uh, blood orange sorbet, and then we have our one type of bread for today. Right. We didn't get the other one made yep. in time. So we have the pretzel with yes. the... Um, mustard. Mustard butter, thank you. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Creepy. And cinnamony. Mm hmm. Where, you know, I think that's one of the things that I noticed even when tasting it. It seemed like cinnamon, where mm. I'm still getting the apple. But I think we should dial back the cinnamon a bit. Um, yeah, let's jump in here. My concern with these ones, I saw them when you were making them or when they were made, Regina, and my concern is the middle part. Yep. It is doughy on the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It hasn't cooked all the way through. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not crazy about the crepe texture, so it feels rubbery. Cinnamon is my big one. I, I'd like to see that. I mean, I noticed too, Jimmy, what we're looking at is inconsistencies, right? We've got super blonde over here, and then we've got crispy over here. We're gonna say thinner, less cinnamon. A little bit thinner, because you need to make sure that you can still keep the filling together. Mm -hmm. Well then, now that we know that we can achieve this, right? Not all of them. We could go back to regular unleaded, mm -hmm. vegan. Mm -hmm. So less cinnamon, traditional crepe, in addition to probably a different recipe for the vegan crepe. Is it possible if we can change the apples as well? What do you want to change it to? To Empire. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. Because these ones are Cortland. Okay. I don't really like them. Okay, yep. Kay. So different Fair apple enough. next yeah. time. Perfect. Sorry, man. Spoon me. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. It's a little um, melty. Oh my god. I think it's good, man. Mm -hmm. I kind of like, um, I like both of the presentations, oh so I'd almost want to see both. Awesome. Bread? Bread, right. So Wes, what do you think? I was kind of on the fence with it, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking maybe sort of something like the stick that you're talking about, but it's, the way I did it was almost held, held up in the middle and then twisted mm -hmm. it like that. Mm -hmm. I think we could do it a little smaller because the crust should be firmer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what one part of, I mean, that's that baking soda wash that creates that hard mm -hmm. and dark yep. pretzel. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where we need to improve here. Next time for the next t uh, tasting though, more presents because we need to figure out what that's going to taste like mm -hmm. as yep. well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Chef Karen said that the pretzels looked like turds. Well, because I tried to do a knot and didn't think about when they would cook that they kind of puffed up and kind of looked kind of bad. Of course they're brown, so it's just like, oh, it's even worse. They were saying our caramel um, was kind of burnt tasting at first and there's something off about it. So we actually talked to Chef John and he gave us some pointers on how to perfect it, so we did. Going into the final exam, I would just say, you know, uh, they definitely need to, to plan for, uh, you know, have a little bit of extra of everything just to make sure that they don't run out if something hits the floor or something uh, goes wrong. Um, but I would just say, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Everybody jump in and braid pretzels when it's time to braid. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, yeah, that, that's what I would say. Coming up on Chef School, 
Not really nervous. I know it's uh, always pretty good, so um, I think everyone's going to like it. It's just uh, serving that many people will be the biggest part. Hopefully <laughs> nothing gets messed up. I was talking.